Excel. You know. Calm, Excel. Jag bor inte mina. Hur var en bonu en? Jag bor nam. Jag bor nam. Jag bor nu en. Yes. It's easy, baby. Put that on, baby. Put it in the chocolate. You're born to win, Lepa. We're not making legends. That's a chat. Exactly, baby. Yeah, my water son, can you just chill up? Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Mm. What's your name, Pagala? What's your name, Lelai? Lelai, 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 Hey, I can't tell you how much that's wrong with you. No, I've been thinking. What you have to talk about, the things like gender roles. What mm. causing the problem is in the society at this time. Yeah, but mm. the misunderstanding mm. of what gender roles are or what people want them to be, so to speak. That was the main thing mm. actually for the day. Yeah, well, mm. because basically by gender roles, what do we mean? We mean things you're expected mm. to do based on your sex. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, exactly. Uh -huh. So, like certain things in the society or in certain areas of the country, certain areas of culture, certain areas mm -hmm. of work are expected to be done by females. And then, mm -hmm. uh, this is not specifically to us as in terms of like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> 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 Hola, hola, hola. Ay, que Ya, yeah, <laughs> 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 I'm a child, I'm a you are using the wrong hand. You are using the wrong hand. Go up, Elise, sir. You? 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 Eh? Long a banbalabu. Banbalabu. Okay. So manzik the bizik booze a lot So basically the first topic was gender roles. So what are gender roles, number one? Eh? How do they apply mm. to the society? And then in mm. terms of culture, in terms of area as well. And then not specific. Ah, come on, 
Okay. Yes, Pastor, Mr. Luzo. So, yeah. Psychosocial. Psycho Psycho Psychosocial. Eh? Psychosocial, Muslim. Ikwe man, it's kaka lungelo. Gulisa. Yeah, Bob. So, in the as well. I mean, I'm not going to go. Anyway. Something. So, in our society, basically, if you look at the past, look at the present. And then, in so, the in, the, in the present. In the future. Yeah. In the future. Past, present. And if, yeah, you can say the future. Yeah, I mean, I might not be in the future, so I don't want to mention the future. Anyway, so, in the, who's covering the past and the present? Ne? Yeah, maybe in the future as well. Yeah, but you will see that now there's one thing that developed even further basically or that was more expressed by most people from what they observed and uh thought it was uh oppression by male dominancy and then they termed us patriarchy one number one number two they grouped themselves and named themselves feminist yeah what so in terms of feminists obviously that different groups in feminists it's not one word yeah, but like there's just four groups basic feminists. There's radical, there's Marxist, there's liberal, and then there is uh post modern, I think. Yeah. yeah, but so in those ones, basically, if you just simplify to make it easy, radical feminists is the one actually that's uh, that's more aggressive, so to speak, because those go to bring groups. It's the one that says we are in the position we are because of male dominance. Yeah, but that's the uh, a radical liberal. Yeah, well, and then the other one is the radical uh, cultural that says the things that can change basically, but that instilled with inside society in a certain group. And then, then this other one, obviously, is Marxist, which is basically it's like a communism feminist. Yeah, well, and then there is a uh, postmodern, which is currently the state has changed based on what we have. It's not actually a fixed decision. So the reason why most people or most males were working is because the opportunity was created for males, which is uh, practical based on apartheid. If you look in the past, the job opportunities that are available there was to build roads, to build hospitals, to be a security, to be a, uh, uh, working in stores, which was male dominated job because it was male needing strength, so to speak. Yeah, but that one just says, okay, the things that are in this way, it's nothing that was created by men. It was created by inequalities, right? <laughs> so now, if we take those basically, <laughs> so if you take those basically applied to our generation, so everything changed because the expectations have changed. Now the opportunities have increased. I'm an expert. No, 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 I'm listening. No, 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 I'm listening. 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 i am Okay. Yeah, but so what you have basically is in the current in the current state now, people are using the same definition basically. Of e e e e e gender uh gender roles as in the past, but now the times, the people, uh, ideas have changed because they want to think to benefit them. And most people who want these benefits are people who don't want to put up the work. Because if you say 
I'm a guy, right? I'm a man. I should be doing manly stuff. What is manly stuff? Who decided it was a manly stuff? So if you look at me, be more unfortunately scientific. We can take it down even to the smallest atom, and you go to molecules. We say, okay, one male. What is the first between a male and female? First, it's gonna be X Y chromosomes, the basic ones. We go up. Yeah, but so therefore, it's not type and phenotype determine function, right? Structure demand function. So therefore, I've got better hormones. Testosterone versus estrogen. So therefore, I'm stronger. I'm faster. I'm bigger, right? Because my body is made for that. So be be better in terms of as a way and some other things. Exactly. Oh, yes. No, no, I'm not biologically. And then it's multifactorial. That's one part. Mm -hmm. And then the other part will be a uh, psychological part of it, basically. Understanding how it was I raised, what did I believe in, what do I want. That psychological part, right? And then remove that part, basically. What I actually don't like is the emotional part, where they sort of talk about people being vulnerable. Being allowing to feel emotions, basically, uh, as a male or as, as a leader of the house, which is um, number three. And then the last one will be physical, psychological, emotional, societal, basically, society. So, how does the society see a male that's working hard? How does society see a male that does things that he thinks are male related or male needing? Right? For example, if you make it a, a, a simple example, a male is expected to open a door for the female, right? Dating, wife, or on a first date, whatever, as a sign of being a gentleman, right? It's a nice term, gentleman. Now, a group of people who call themselves feminists for one, there are other groups, obviously, will come and say, no, I can open my own door. Why are you opening a door for me? You see what I'm saying? So now, it's also these females within this group who are actually against about what they want, when they're in a certain time, in a certain area. But at home, her husband is doing the opposite. And she loves it. Do you get what I'm saying? Then you ask yourself, Kanye, Kanye, what must I do? Should I be a man and try to do equality in terms of gender roles? Like, go inside my side of the door and open my door. Go inside, let her open her door. Even if it doesn't open, it's like a taxi driver uh, car. It's less old. I think it was a pirate or as born. Again, we again. Yeah, but that's basically equality. Yeah, but, but then again, it doesn't inspire or it doesn't push basically what you want basically to, to, to be viewed as, or you as viewed as by your partner as a nice guy, as a gentleman, as a loving person. Yeah, but do you get what I'm saying? That's, the, that's another example in terms of interpersonal, like relationship wise. And then there'll be actually Umsebein's work that will actually need males to do and then will need females to do. If I'm, I'm going to ask females to go and work in the mine, that work will need it doesn't need intelligence. It just needs extra strength and strength and no complaining. Ah, we don't need to think. There's no complaining. It's moving one brick to another place. One brick to another place. There is nothing. There's no chatting. There's no nothing. It's just physical work. Who breaks? I need to complaining. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but it's complaining. So that is basically it is only physical Friend. work. Most females don't want to do that. So therefore, when you say it's a road of a man to do that, then it must be done. If you listen to this guy, U U U Jordan Peterson will tell you, work must be done by, by who? Who determines who must do what? So therefore, we look at the abilities, or you look at uh, basically of your, on your strength and your weakness. For example, I can't cook as most females. It's not because I don't want to, but I can't. I was not taught. So therefore, would you say because you want equality in this house, I must go and cook. I'm going to take two hours, number one. Number two, the food won't be nice. Number three, it might even cause food poisoning because it's not fully made, it's fully cooked or well cooked. So now we've got two problems in the house. I took too much time on the pot, which I didn't do well. I took too much part of the pot, which caused problems for the entire family, me, my girlfriend, my children, or even cousin, whatever, in the house. Instead of saying, okay, listen, let's divide the work. I'll look at the kids. You cook. You're going to take one hour. You're going to sit each way together within one hour. Food will be well made. Nobody's going to complain about stomach ache or diarrhea or vomiting after that. You get what I'm saying? It's a role that you can do. So if you are doing it better than me, why should I do it as well? It makes no sense. Yeah. Just now, people talk, complain about equality, etc. Because most people want this thing of gender roles to benefit them more, even though it's uh, not yeah, level. Totally. Why can't you go and complain? In, um, in outside work, 
people want jobs that look nice to them people want jobs that look nice for them basically like the office job secretary engineering all those things like higher great jobs because outside there are more males who are working there people don't come complain and say uh-uh guys i think there should be more females in the construction business there should be more females about the tpk should be more females about the carpentry should be more females about the plumbers people don't complain about that but they, call, they complain about equality the if there was true equality do you know what's going to happen if there was true equality females will lose almost in everything if you say with equality let's play rugby let's make a rugby team of males against females who see you can, who's boss you want equality most let's make a soccer team of males versus females then it's just equality the game saying will that be fair it won't be fair because people have got genetically different structures so therefore physiology is not the same abilities are not the same understanding is not the same so people want people just want to ask to compare things that are uncompatible it's like me comparing myself to a different species because I'm uh, genetically, I'm a different species from a female. So let's say there's an alien that comes from Mars or Pluto, whatever. Those guys are tall as LeBron James, as Kobe Bryant. Now I have to play against them basketball. The only thing I've got in my mind is just their living organisms as well. I can challenge them. As long as they're living organisms, I can challenge them. That's what the feminists have in their mind. They've got this idea that, no, since uh, you are a human being like me, I can challenge you whenever in everything you do. I can do the same or even better, which is bullshit. You can't. Males are created superiorly in terms of physical ability. The only way females will catch up to males or even become close is become year, to get years of training. Number five in the range, basically, 100 meter, 400 meter. Number five in males, basically one of the last guys, is faster than number one in females. For example, do you understand that? It tells you already they are superior genetically. There's nothing you can do about that. So therefore, give them appropriate work for their level of strength. Yeah, bro? As I'm saying, you can't compare yourself to someone just because you're a living organism. Because that's what they do. They say, ah, males and females should be the same. Done and deal, done deal. You can't. Which part do you think they can beat us in? I haven't seen this one. Which sport do you think females can beat us in? Race? What? Yeah, but uh, me, me, uh, uh, F1, I don't think they can beat us. Uh, uh, rugby? No. Soccer? No. Um, what else? Horse riding? No. Boxing? No. MMA? No. So there isn't a category where females are better than us. So why are they wanting to be the same level as us in the most things? But when you see, it's not the same. You can compare with the people who are like you. Genetically, who can you can improve and get better based on what on determination and passion? Because I've got maybe evolution. maybe not non physical sports. Sorry, non physical sports maybe maybe chess let's, maybe. Let's, 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 I like that. Let's go. Let's take chess. Let's take the check the world champion. Let's take world champions. Let's take pool table non physical sport. Let's check champions. Let's check world champions. Do you get what I'm saying? Let's take fine. Let's play games. Mm -hmm. Let's check video games. Let's check world champions. Do you see what I'm saying? Yeah, well, mm. let's check. Yeah, let's check other things. We can, can name them. Name anything you think that we can compete with them and they can beat us. Horse riding, a question. Maybe. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah. Maybe like horse riding, a question. You can't compare yourself to to another being just because you are breathing the same air. That makes no sense. Mm -hmm. You can compare yourself to someone. Yeah, boy? And then that person must be the same or similar to you as much as possible. And being alive or being a living organism is not enough. I can compare myself if possible, I'm a black person, compare myself to a white or Indian person who is also me. Number one. Mm. Yeah, boy? Maybe you might even say same of weight. Who's the same weight as me? Yeah, but Or even sometimes mm. height. Not just because I'm a human mm. being. Females will, will tell you, I can do better. I can take him on. Take who on? Brock Lesnar. I boo. 
Yeah, bro. Why do you think that? Why do you? Think, why do you think it's like that? Why, like, I, I still, str- st- I'm still struggling to understand where this even came from. But, but there, there is this. There is even that talk. But you can. We are as equal as males, and therefore we should be treated equally. Like, where does that even come from? Oh, okay. So the idea, yeah, the the idea came in nineteen eighty one. Basically, uh, I forgot the guy. I think it's um Antonio. I'm not sure. I don't know, sure, but I know the year. Yeah, boom. The idea was because basically, the way they look post war effects. Like there's World War One, World War Two, right? After the war, people were looking basically in 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 in, in, in job uh, contribution in terms of gender, right? They you know, say, man, almost all the available jobs, except for personal trainer and nursing, they were dominated by males, right? There were two uh, uh, careers where were dominated by females. It was personal uh, trainer and nurses, right? They're like, no, what about the other ones? What about secretary, engineering? What about uh, like other jobs, it's the higher uh, thing, uh, status, lawyer, medicine, uh, engineer. They're like, okay, what? Why are females not interested in these things? And then it was basically three things. Mainly was interest. Females didn't want to get oily under the car, removing engine, trying to get balancing of tires, etc. They wanted office job. So there was what was the one reason? What was not done? Secondly. It was because of the demand that the the work wanted. Because most females want to eat, eat, sleep at the same time. Very few females will sleep after the 12 o'clock, right? Or midnight. Most of these jobs will require them to wake up at night, go and work. That's why you even see in basic policemen, there was not restriction. It was just not an interest of a female to chasing a nigger in 100 meters, try to catch them from stealing a chocolate. You get what I'm saying? It makes no sense. <laughs> yeah. It makes no sense to ladies. Yeah, but they were like, yeah. what? What the hell no. Someone stole a PS, you must chase them for like two kilometers. Yeah, but from stealing a chocolate. And then the following day, they go off. You are tired. You've got ankle pain. You've got maybe a muscle uh, strain or something like that. Do you get what I'm saying? That's why it's that, that's what I'm interested. Number two was opportunity available. So most jobs had an unwritten rule, right? There was nothing that said, it's like South African rule, basically, where they say there won't be a white president, but it's not written, but you know. It's the behavior within the political party. Same thing with us. There was an unwritten rule that no females will be allowed to work in here. Not an unwritten, but it was a behavior. Because the, 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 the prestige or uh, the mood that was created by bosses when they are together or in these positions, they talk about things that females don't like. For example, golf. Yeah, bro. They talk about cigar, being with girls. The conversation was excluding to them. Yeah, bro. Do you get what I'm saying? It's about dating multiple people. If you look at movies, look at the Sopranos. That's what they could make a good example in the Sopranos. Sopranos, we, 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 do you think you want to see a female gangster? Because it's not inclusive for them. They're loving people. They can't be going around killing people, trying to maintain status, or getting scared of. So number two was opportunity presented to them, basically, was small, and it was not fit them. The last one, Gengoku, was the expectations. Yeah, boom. That's the hard one, the expectation. Almost all the jobs, even though they don't tell you what we expect for you to do or to be able to do. Yeah, but mm-hmm. expectations basically mm-hmm. of a certain career need you to feel mm-hmm. innocent. For example, imagine being a lawyer mm-hmm. and then protecting mm-hmm. someone who someone. For most guys who will be detached from that situation, will not feel like mm-hmm. it's our duty to judge who's right or wrong. It's our duty to protect mm-hmm. our client. Most people don't go hand in hand with that. They're like, nope, if not my job, it's not the right thing to do. Invented commas, right thing to do. Most guys will go in because they want that money to feed their family. So they care about what they're working it for. Yeah, but most people want a clean... It's not even most guys. It's not even most guys. A small, a small minority of guys would do that. Because a bunch of money, exactly. they would never do stuff like that. Yeah. Exactly. Mm. You get what I'm saying? So the three reasons basically mm. about that is you. That these are actually the core reasons why things are happening. So now that's why you will mm-hmm. see most people will say there's still inequality, there's still suppressed, and there's still patriarchy. Then I always ask the same question: In what way? Let's go to university. The university yeah. already number one. I think I mentioned this before. Have got more females than guys. Mm-hmm. And then goes go to prison. Do you know in prison, less than ten percent of the people who are arrested are females. Less than ten percent. 
And then so normally so with uh, so normally as a rest, only one is female or no female. Hmm. For every ten people at the stage that go to constant services, only one or oh, there's no female at all. So meaning hmm. it's ninety five percent and above of males who are going to prison. So we are at disadvantage number one. So the students say we are the one. Another step that, that would be nice to look at about that would be how many wrongfully arrested females compared to how many wrongfully arrested males. Ah, that would be a different, different, different way for that day then. Let's go over now with, with basically with stats now, simple and straight. Because we're talking about yeah, roles, yeah. right? So it's basically roles yeah. is a belief system that we create. Yeah. So let's talk about stats and supporting with that. Because you want to make it more mm -hmm. valid and central. Otherwise, if you involve those things about wrongfully, rightfully, will involve emotions, which people, most people will lose, unfortunately, because I don't come with emotions at all. Anyway, so you look at that. That's number one. Number two, you check basically the education system already mentioned is more females than, ma than males. And then in the prison, it's most uh, guys who are in prison than females. Yeah, but, and then the job opportunities are there. There's a lot. Do females still apply? They don't. They still choose what they want to do, but they want to say they want to be treated equally. But they don't choose those opportunities. So what's the point of advertising? Five posts for females to come and work at the construction, and then five posts for males to come and work at the construction. All five posts for the males will be uh, filled. But females, only two. Three spaces. Now we've got three people who don't want to work here because it's hard work. So now, it, are we wrong by saying, okay, let's advertise eight posts for males, two posts for females for the same thing. Because we know males will apply, so we'll fill this space basically. Yeah, but it's like saying Lungelo, we 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 want to make it fair, right? So if we want to make it fair, we in terms of buying shoes, Edgar is selling shoes, size five, six, seven, eight, right? Each ten, 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 ten. These are four sizes. About six, seven, eight, nine, right? But we know that this population or the majority of the people here wear size seven. So are we going to alter the same size of size 7 and size 6, even though no size 6 won't be bought, end up going into the following year if you could decrease the price, so no making gain from it, rather than increasing the number of size 7s there, because we know people are going to buy that size 7, because the majority of people that buy in the store are wearing size 7. You get what I'm saying? It's about that. If, 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 yeah. if day, yes. Because not everything is, is, is communism. We do not everything is owned by government to equal to 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 to, to, to be, uh, fairness, which is what equality, what you call equality. Something needs equity. Yeah, but some needs equity, and in that equity, unfortunately, it means that we must prioritize the need and the ability to obtain and give. That's what equity is. You give appropriately. You know, in hospital, must we call something called triaging. If we <coughs> arrive first. Listen, me, I arrived before you. I've got big pain. You arrived before me. You are after me when you've got head injury. They can't attend me with big pain. Why well, you just had a car accident then, recently? And now you might die before me. So should they attend me because I arrived first, which is fairness? I arrived first, but you arrived after me, but you critical. You got, so that's another example. So we use that so, triage. That's, that, that's a very good example then because... It's funny because you can take an ER doctor or an ER nurse, né? and they can be a feminist, right? No, a voice is low. It's just voice volume. Don't even. It's low. Okay, talk, talk. Okay. I'll, I'll review it later. Okay. It's low. Did you, did you, did you, that's such a good example because because you can you can have a female or a radical feminist doctor or nurse or whatever attendee ne? Mm. yeah that that will understand exactly what you're saying but uh, you cannot attend someone that has a toe injury that came first ahead of someone that came after that with a head injury or or um about to die if you leave them right in the name of in the name of equality right or fairness but then at the same yeah. time, that's do, do, do you know, Lungelo, sorry, Do you know that if I, I actually, I don't know when, I think about two months or three months ago, I looked at the top 10 causes of divorce in South Africa. Uh -huh. And one of them was communication, which I think number three. Communication. People expect 
you to act in a certain way that benefits other people. They don't understand that some things are actually based on the scenario. You can't uh -huh. equal. There, there is no equality you can create between males and females. It doesn't exist. You can't give uh -huh. equal opportunities. What it won't make a gain. Then you're killing the business. Me, I'm, I'm not uh -huh. like you. I'm more of a capitalist person. I think uh -huh. if I'm gonna do something as a business or as government, it must have an optimal result. Uh -huh. I can't please people while they are not pleasing themselves or they're not taking the opportunity. Uh -huh. Do you get what I'm saying? Do, for example, would you say in the army, like last example, in the army, we're gonna go and fight a war. Now I want five females, five males to volunteer to come. How many females do you think do volunteer to come? It's a high paying job. Five. Yeah, yeah. Maybe five, you can, you not, not yeah. Maybe you, you, you have to yeah. optimize the opportunity so that it fills the balance. It's called equity in that case. You're not doing it because you want people to feel fine while their spaces are not filled. You're going to lose. So therefore, you're going to say now, you're only going to take people who volunteer to go fight war. You've got 10 spaces in the plane. Now only five females, only five males have volunteers. Only two females have volunteers. So therefore, there's three spaces, four females that won't be filled. You're gonna go and fight a war against ten people. So you're gonna lose the other side because they brought there are ten people who are only males because they didn't allow this thing of choosing. They brought equity instead of equality. They didn't say five five. Let's go and fight a war. They said oh, no 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 no. We're gonna take female males because they wanna volunteer. They are willing to die for their country. Females will be two of them. And then there's two spaces which you can't put males in. So therefore, you're going to war. You've got two spaces. You can't put males on them because it will be what? Patriarchy. You're putting more males in females. So therefore, you're going to fight with two males. You're going to get killed there. You're going to finish the fight because those guys are in numbers than you. And they use equity. You use equality in your side. Yeah. You That's understand? what I'm saying. Vic. So there is it. The actually, this guy, who Steve Harvey, actually said this. There is no equality in a relationship. There isn't. There is no equality in the society. Yeah, bo. So gender roles are not meant for us to do things equally. No. They are meant for us to do things appropriately or suitably. Yeah, bo. It must suit you. It must be something that you can do with your current abilities, with your appearance. Yeah, bo. If we were to, let's say, we were going to pass a border. Let's say from here to from Pumalanga to Gauteng. And then in order for us to, to pass, we must pass a beauty test. Are you gonna show make me show my face? You know that you are my girlfriend, you are more beautiful than me, so to speak. You get what I'm saying? It makes yeah. no sense. Yeah. Yeah, very long. Yeah. So it makes no sense. Yeah. Gender roles are not supposed to be equal in any level or manner. Relationship, family, cultural, society, there isn't any way where uh, gender roles should be equal. It doesn't exist. Once you try to make it balanced, you try to make it equal, so to speak, it tilts immediately. And the person it tilts yeah. against them is the one who wanted that opportunity. Yeah. Yeah, well, that's I mean, the problem. I mean, because even... I'm, I'm telling you, look at most countries that are actually successful. They know exactly who can do what, who are they good at, and what do they want. As Tina, we're trying to make things fair. Why, if it's not working, who are we trying to help? Are we trying to make make ourselves feel better that I did my job? I put equal males and male females. I put equal cats and dogs. But you're fighting against dogs. I only put even cats in the thing. In the war, in, in this fight, same thing with fighting poverty. If the, the, the idea is that females do better in distribution of money, why would you put a guy in finance if the females are doing better? You get what I'm saying? It makes no sense to me. The, the, I think the people that, that are against stuff like that are the exact people that, that end up single. Don't tell me about that group, my man. That group, I don't want to hear about that group. <laughs> Nothing. We had a good one here, uh, basically, about this, the war. To make it fair, let's take females and go a feminist. To that war.
and leave the guys behind. If they said they can do the same thing as guys do, fine, because it involves more shooting. I didn't mention this. Take them to the front. Yeah, but if they said there shouldn't be gender roles, or they should be so minimal, that is that negligible. Then let's take females, make them go and fight the war. Why is it always going to be guys? Because it's what? It's a gender role, right? It was based on that. Guys can fight, die, strength, run, shoot, kill. Now, one females want to do the same thing as well. If they want to do it, they must even raise their hands. No female will tell you, I'm ready to kill. Ah, ah, they will not say that. But when it's us, they're like, yeah, I want troops. I want troops. We must raise our hands. That we are ready to be aggressive, ready to be fight for our country, ready to kill for them, and they're happy. And then later on, when it's complain about psychological trauma, we look like we are weak. Yeah, yeah. Mm. We look like we are weak. How many guys will yeah. tell you that the minute I cried on her shoulder or I I broke into tears, she saw me as weak, or she told me I'm not strong enough, or she told me why am I being a pussy? Do you get what I'm saying? Because I'm not, it's not expected of me to behave like that. Yes, you can't speak out, but I mean, but it must be exactly the same thing that you saw females doing. Our way of breaking out or our way of communication, our way of expressing ourselves shouldn't be based on how females did it. That's the mistake people don't understand. Same thing with females when they want to do something that we are doing. It should be based on how we are doing it. Do you know, for example, let me give you an example. Rugby is a physical sport, right? Females mm. have got anatomical different structure to us. When we've got pectoral muscle, they've got breast tissue. The kind of injuries they suffer compared to us are worse. Same sport, same tackle by the female, but the kind of injuries they, su they sustain are worse than our injuries. On mm. the same body part, which is the chest. Because that structure is not meant to play rugby. It is, it is it. It's a physical sport created for men to fight their, to increase their anger, to play sport, to have fun in the field. It was not designed to, to evolve a female. Now, they didn't change the rules. They changed nothing. They should have made it touch rugby for females. They put the same sport, the same rules, the same application, the same number of players in the field that was meant for males to play. So what happens now? Most females come in with Breast problems, infection, mastitis, etc. Complain about back pain. Because they're not supposed to sustain that kind of pressure sustainably, continuously. The muscles on the back are not as big as the male's muscle. Naturally, we love in training. We are already structured in a certain way to push pressure. We have got different organs in the abdomen. We got injured in the abdomen, we can have multiple surgeries. We will not get infertile. Them. One, upper, one, one injury has ah, infertile. Take off the womb. You see, this movie of uh, Acromini, this Acromini, ne? yeah, Acromini, yeah, well, it gives a good example. One injury she had there, bah, infertile, gone. Which injury do you know will make a guy infertile? On the abdomen, plant abdomen trauma. Nothing. Do you get what I'm saying? But the sport that we play is protective to us because it protects our balls. They've got things to cover our balls, etc. For females, it's inside. The abdomen trauma isn't the same as the abdomen trauma of a, of a male. The organs I have are different from hair or are less because she's got a womb as well. My genitalia is outside. Everything on my genitalia is outside. Hers is inside. Once you punch that pelvis, you have, it might cause trauma to the abdomen organs or to the pelvic organs. So that's the kind of examples I'm giving you that people are, don't take the consideration when they want equality in areas where you can't actually make equal things. You can't, you can't uh, introduce equality. The sport was merely created for this group. Now you want to take your group and put it here without them adjusting any rules, nothing. It's like basically taking a sport that was made in a different planet Right? This sport involves jumping high two, three meters. We apply it to us. For us, if we jump three meters, four meters, we break our bones. People don't care about that. Like, hey, they are living organisms. They are doing it. Let's do it. We can try as well. Who's supposed to suffer? How many people are going to suffer until we say that it's not of us? 
it's the same thing basically the females that say we must have female rugby they don't go towards that female rugby so therefore it becomes yeah. useless or weak they come towards soccer or male rugby how many females go to support female rugby female soccer you if you that's, that's, that's another thing that's another yeah. thing right that, that's that's another thing is that is that most of the people that then support these things supported from afar but they know mm. that if they had a choice they wouldn't go there or they wouldn't say so like, yeah we want equality everyone should be paid the same because they play the same sport so like, okay do you go and watch them no okay why aren't you watching them because you are then part of the people your ticket is going to be part of the reason why that person is going to be paid more but you but you not watching it is the reason why it's not so why don't you watch it no i prefer to watch uh, yeah. male, male let's start yeah yeah for you 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 yeah